hello, I am your CRM software. I manage your customers. <laughs> Guys, you gotta have some CRM software if you're in business for yourself. Marianne Denovelis here with the Six Figure Mastermind. Welcome back, and today we're gonna discuss what it is and why you need it. CRM software is some of the most streamlined stuff you can have in your business. I highly recommend it. So let's talk about how to use it and what it's good for. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management Software. And there's many different kinds out there. There's Infusionsoft, there's Fresh Sales, there's Pipedrive, there's even stuff like MailChimp. There's an endless supply seeming of CRM software that you can opt into. We're not going to talk about the one that's best for you, but we are going to talk about why you need one. Before you even pick the software that you feel is best for you, you're going to need to know why you need it and why you should be using it. Customer relationship management software is designed to help you keep everything organized. It's essentially your cheat sheet to all of your clients. And whether or not you're using MailChimp, whether or not you're using Infusionsoft, but no matter what you're using, there is a system that will save you time, energy, and money to use for your clients. First thing that you're gonna to wanna to do, it doesn't matter if you have the system or not, if you're not using it, and what the first thing you need to track is everything that comes in from your client base. You're gonna be reaching out to the world and you're gonna get clients to respond back and you wanna know where they're responding from, how they found you, and what kind of interaction that they had with you. In one of our videos later on, we're gonna be discussing how-tos on Infusionsoft specifically and maybe we'll even touch on some MailChimp, but regardless, you're gonna to wanna to track everything that comes in. Whether you're using a notes feature, whether you're using tags, when, no matter how your specific system is set up, everything that comes in, you're gonna track. So if you have a phone call and they tell you, maybe they're in the military and they just got off deployment, you're gonna write that down. Maybe they just told you they have a family and they have a dog who is sick and, and they want to uh, invest in your business. You're gonna write down about the dog. You're gonna track everything in the family. So guess what? When you're on the phone with them again, if you have a memory like mine, you need this cheat sheet to help you remember all of the things. So when you call them again, you ask about the dog, you ask about the job, you ask about their family, everything that you possibly took notes on, bring it up in the conversation because that helps your customer relations go awesome through the roof. So track everything that comes in. You're also going to track everything that goes out. Every bit of publicity that you put out there, every email that you put out there, every phone call you make, everything that you share gets tracked in this software. So if I'm taking a phone call with the client and I want to take some notes and I want to note it, notate that I offer the client a specific program, I'm going to write that in my notes because how embarrassing would it be to call the client and do a follow-up call and not have those notes and not remember that you already offered the program and not remember that they already said yes and they already paid for it. In fact, they've been using it for quite some time and they've been quite happy about it. And then you offer it again. Not good. You want to make sure that you know everything that you and your client have done together to date in perfect order. So this CRM software will help you track all of that and keep it in a nice, beautiful spreadsheet all ready for you. You're going to track all of your text conversations. For example, I have a text thread of about 15 people on my own separate threads at any given moment. And you know what? I don't input them all into my phone. I don't save all of their contact information. I put it all in my CRM software. So that means whenever I'm on the phone with a client, I'm also in front of my computer and I'm putting in their aim, I'm putting in their phone number, I'm finding out their information, I'm finding out their history. So when I'm on the phone with them, that's all right in front of me on the screen. I know which clients I've recently talked to. I know which clients I've contacted first. I know which clients I've done two contacts with. I know which clients I've contacted three times. I know which clients I need to follow up with. I know which clients are working on path to payment. I know which clients I've sold on and what program they bought. I know which clients didn't get sold. I know which clients I didn't get a hold of. When you start getting this flood of clients, you're going to want to have a supportive software that helps you keep track of all of those things. Think about this. You need to send an email out to the part of your database who bought a specific program. How do you do it without having to categorize everything all by yourself in a Gmail account? You've got to have a CRM software. That CRM software will automatically send the right email depending on how you've tagged your clients. So if I need to send a, an email out to all of the clients who have purchased my advanced sales and marketing program, all I need to do is construct an email, 
click the proper tag and the email will go to the right people. The autoresponders will also go right to the right people. All the emails would get to the right place. You, you cannot do business with massive clientele without a program to back you up. So make the job easy for yourself. Stack the deck in your favor and give yourself the gift of having a CRM backup. I don't care which one you use, just get some support because an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you don't have to do it on your own. You cannot afford to be distracted while you are doing all of this tracking, while you are doing all of these client calls, while you are talking to everyone that you come in contact with and you're doing all of your advertisements and your promotions and your marketing on Facebook. You cannot be distracted when it comes to that because if you miss something, you've missed a client. So when you're in your CRM tracking software, you've got all of your lists for every different people. You can create as many tags as you want to keep track of who has been where and who is doing what. I love to have four specific categories in my CRM software, at least to start out with. This list can grow, it can shrink, it can vary depending upon your needs, but I like to have a four list series on how I do this. The first list is my hot list. It's the people that are ready to go. It's the people that contacted me recently that I haven't spoken to yet. It's the people that came to my mind in a moment of thinking, who do I need to contact next? These are my next people, my first respond ease, the people that I'm talking to first. That is my hot list. Once I've talked to that person, they either go into a sold list, or if I didn't get a hold of them, they go into a warm list, or if I did get a hold of them and they weren't a sale, they go into my cold list. So I've got first my hot list. Let's talk about the warm list, okay? This is my list in process. As soon as I've talked to someone, I'm gonna take their information from my hot list and put it in my warm list. Now, if you don't have a CRM software set up yet, you can just use Google Sheets to do this, okay? I recommend upgrading when it's time to do that, but you can start out with Google Sheets. Start out with your hot list. Once you've contacted that person, move their name and phone number, put it over on your warm list. You've got different tabs set up in your Google Sheets so you can do this. Hot list to warm list. Warm list means they need another touch. They need another follow-up. Maybe I didn't get a hold of them yet. Maybe we talked, but we didn't get to a final decision. That's your warm list. Once they've moved from your warm list, they're either going to go into a sold list or a cold list. Hot, warm, sold, cold. Those are the four lists that you need to have. After I've talked to them, they've either bought a program and I'm going to make a note on my sold list on which program they bought, how long they've been in the program and the fulfillment that has been done, or I'm going to move them to a cold list. They're still a potential customer. It's just a no for right now. With my cold list, I'm going to be reaching out to them. I'm going to be contacting them about every three months or so just to check in with life, just to check in and see how they're doing and see how life is going and Maybe it's time for them to move forward, maybe it's not. But life can change so dramatically in the course of three months that I keep them on my list. You better believe I'm not deleting any information at all when it comes to keeping my clients in a list. If you're ever interested in doing a joint venture, a lot of people will ask for your list. They want to know how big your list is. And if you're deleting people as you go, you can't keep a hold of your list. It's not smart to delete people off your list, even if they have said no to you. Sure, they can unsubscribe and that's totally okay. In fact, that's perfectly wonderful because if they know they don't ever wanna work with you, maybe they're, they're, <laughs> they're what they call the haters, that's okay, they can unsubscribe, but you don't remove them. They get to do that themselves and they get to clear up that space. Keep them for as long as you can until they say, please remove me from your list. And that's okay, please do that. In fact, by law, if they ask you to remove them from your list, you must do that. Be respectful, but otherwise keep them on your list, either the hot, the warm, the cold, or the sold. Let yourself have the advantage of having CRM software to back you up the entire time. Aren't you so grateful that someone solved that problem for us? That's gonna save you so much time in your business and time is money, so let's make more of both.